And what's the motherfucking deal, YouTube? This your boy, Coach Dante YT. Please comment, like, and subscribe on the video, man. I really appreciate you guys uh, for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you guys for always being a part of the channel. And, you know, uh, supporting the channel, man. Like I say, it will be a stream tonight. Uh, the uh, Phoenix Suns game two versus the Milwaukee Bucks. We'll start, try to see if Milwaukee can even the series. So let's get right into the video, man. Big sh shout out again to all my loyal subscribers. So let's get right into this video, man. Um, the second place team in the AFC North Division. Um, they had a pretty uh, good run last year. Uh, they was considered as a Super Bowl, uh, going to the Super Bowl, being a contender. But then again, they got dominated. They got punched in the mouth. Uh, their quarterback got taken out in, the, I believe, the second quarter. Uh, that is none other than the Baltimore Ravens. They end up beating uh, the Tennessee Titans in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, Mark Ingram looked like a shell of himself. Uh, the defensive line, Calais Campbell, them got pressure on the quarterback, but to me, I feel like they secondary kind of dropped. They, they secondary was kind of in and out, but like I say, again, Lamar Jackson, like I said, Lamar Jackson, he needs to improve on his being able to uh, throw the ball accurately because uh, Lamar Jackson is a great athlete. Uh, he's a great athlete. He can run the ball. He can uh, either kind of receive the ball a little bit, catch the ball, but Lamar Jackson, you look at him as an athlete, for right now, uh, Hollywood Brown can take the top off the defense. Basically, if the Baltimore Ravens, they either got two options. Either the, they run the ball well, offensive line block, and they they use the tight ends a lot in the offense. The tight ends is a big big play. There's a big piece of Baltimore offense. Willie Sneed, uh, Andrews, Andrews uh, as a tight end. Sometimes they'll uh, chunk it to Hollywood Brown. They'll make a play. I mean, they was on cruise control in the first three weeks of the season. They beat my Houston Texans. They beat the Miami Dolphins. They they just bullied them all over the place. But Ravens have all the intention uh, to be a great team. It's just Lamar Jackson, he has to be able to beat people with his arm. And he have not shown that he can be able to beat people with his arm. The defense is going to always keep him in ball games. They're going to always try stop the run. They're going to be physical or in the secondary. Uh, but Lamar Jackson, as this team goes, Lamar Jackson goes. As Lamar Jackson is hot, this team will be hot. And he has to improve on his throwing accuracy. Uh, he's very good moving out the pocket, eluding pass rush. Uh, he can make some plays with his legs. He's an athlete. But uh, for as quarterback-wise, I think guys like Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, they are better. They're just better uh, football players. They're better football players. Uh, like I say, Deshaun Watson, I mean, Lamar Jackson is just a better athlete. He's just a better athlete. He's just a better athlete than both of them. But as far as winning games on big stage and making the plays when it needs to be made, Lamar Jackson does kind of not do a good job of doing that. And for this team to get to the next level, Lamar Jackson – has to learn how to beat people from the pocket, or it will. It, I mean, it would just be easy to game plan for him, just like it has been for the last couple of years when he made the playoffs. So, like I say, uh, over and under for Baltimore, I believe. Like I say again, they can get over eleven wins. I, I will go at least thirteen wins for Baltimore. I believe they will win this division again. I believe Pittsburgh is going to kind of struggle a little bit. I believe it's time for them. The next drop is to take a quarterback. I believe Ben Ben is Big Ben is the tiller rating. Um Yes, the uh, Steelers got a couple of good a good playmakers in Claypool, but we'll get to them. You know when we when we can when we uh get there. That's the that's the next video. But I believe uh Baltimore and Cleveland will be, be fighting for the division, uh for the division crown. And Baltimore, I mean Lamar Jackson just got to improve. He just got to improve on beating people from the pocket. Uh, until then, you know, Ravens uh, won't do too much. Uh, the running game is very solid. The offensive line blocks pretty good, block pretty good. It just, you know, he's got to be able to beat people from the pocket. He has not shown that he can do that. He can beat people from the pocket. So let's get right into their schedule again. 11-5 and five last year. I believe they will get 13 uh, wins this year. Uh, I will take the over. The worst-case scenario, they get 10 wins. They get 10 wins, but I'm going to go with 13 I will go. I will take the over uh, eleven for Baltimore. 
Uh, let's get right into the vid. Let's get right into the uh, schedule. Uh, first, they open up against the Las Vegas Raiders on opening day. That is a seven. That was a seven fifteen start. They play Kansas City uh, on week two. They play Detroit. They play Denver. They play Indianapolis. The Chargers. The Bengals. Minnesota. Miami. Chicago. Cleveland. Pittsburgh. Cleveland again. Green Bay. Cincinnati, Los Angeles Rams, and Pittsburgh to start out close out the season. I think that that they this can be a thirteen win team uh, again. Everything break right. The defense keep going strong. Eric Weddle and Marlon Humphrey and um, I mean believe Marcus Peters leading that secondary. Um, uh, the defensive line, Calais Campbell, them keep getting pressure on the quarterback, but. The main thing is Lamar Jackson has to take his game to another level. He has to work on. He has to uh, beat people in the pocket. And like I said, I don't know if it's the receivers or not getting open enough for him uh, anything, but Lamar Jackson has to improve. Uh, he has to do more uh, beating people in the pocket than trying to just run, than trying to just run out the pocket, trying to just run out of the pocket. And their defense uh, was kind of uh, very good because it tells. Because like I say again, 18.9 points per game. That's what the defense points against. So that shows you their defense uh, shut down people last year. Their running game was first in the league. Was first in the league. Uh, 191 yards per rush. Um, a game, their offense, it shows. Lamar Jackson not beating people from the pocket. Again, they had the worst passing offense in the game at 171 yards. They basically was a run, run uh, heavy offense. When they did pass, throw the ball, it was the tight ends uh, or Marquise Hollywood Brown. But like I say, he hasn't proved that he can beat people in the pocket. 29 points per game, running running the football, run, effective run game. Uh, a lot of short fields, defense uh, forcing turnovers. And defense gave up 18.9 uh, points per game. So only so much what you can do when your offense not putting any points on the board. And like I say, and when your defense study have to go back on the field and just continue to hold the team down, that puts stress on the defense and tiring out on the defense. So that's the end of the video, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video. I got the Ravens going uh, over 11 wins and 13 wins because I believe this defense will continue to stifle people. I believe this defense will continue to get stops, allow this running game, this offense to get on the field, and allow Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson can – uh, do some work and allow this uh this running game and this offensive line to take over games and wear teams down. So comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about this? Over and under Baltimore Ravens. I got them at 13 wins. Uh, possibility they the worst case scenario they get 10 wins, but I got them over 13 wins. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, guys. I am out. Much love, Coach Dante. Signing out. Peace.